Ladies and gentlemen, here's Palmer Lucky. Who is Palmer Lucky? He is the founder of Oculus Rift. Recently, Gizmodo, aka Gawker 2.0, has written a hit piece on him, saying that he's a Donald Trump supporter and that his girlfriend supported Gamergate. To the eyes of a rational human being, these are things that really don't say anything. People support Donald Trump, people support Gamergate, they're not inherently bad things, but Gizmodo twisted them as if they are. One of the segments that I love for the article is this. He also favorite tweets mocking quote unquote SJWs or social justice warriors, a concept encompassing a sort of liberal boogeyman for members of the alt right. Boogeyman. Wow. And I love the last part. That means this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy are members of the alt right, simply for using the term SJWs. Brilliant logic there, Gizmodo. Now, people who are at least always bringing Gamergate into the negative light always tells people inside Gamergate that we shouldn't bring people's personal life into the matter when we're talking about corruption in the gaming journalism realms. And yes, we're talking about corruption in the gaming realms. More than gaming, in fact. I've made quite a lot of videos on this. And I don't talk about people's personal life because that's not my concern. And that's not Gamergate's main concern. However, when you do it to a guy with opinions you disagree with, that's somehow totally fine. Lucky's girlfriend, Nikki Moxie, and yes, that's her in the picture, frequently shit talks feminist Anita Sarkeesian, Mox, quote unquote SJWs, and tweets pictures of herself at Trump events. She is cosplayed as a Gamergator mascot Vivian James and being photographed at Gamergate meetups around San Francisco. These are all information that is completely out of the public's interest. Why do you have to lump in this person's personal life as a way to mock him and attack him? Why is Nikki's stance on the election and her support of Gamergate is enough to be a material of mockery? These are positions that she take, not the actions that she do. If she is supporting the so-called racist candidate Donald Trump, are there any tweets or statements from her hating on black people or something? We sure as hell have tons of tweets on the Bioware game developer hating on white people. Now, since these people are bringing a negative light to Gamergate, they must have been under the assumption that Gamergate is a movement to drive women out of gaming. So of course, if they believe this and they are against this, Gizmodo is of course condemning harassment against women in gaming because it's not okay. Except what Gizmodo did here is exactly the kind of thing that they're condemning. They just made a hit piece against one woman out of gaming because this woman simply disagrees with their opinions. Now, of course, hit pieces are always written by garbage journalistic sites, but it gets to the point where it becomes concerning. NeoGAF and the Snowflakes just quite literally asked people to come into Nikki's Twitter and harass her. She is a racist moron because she disagrees with my opinion. This is so disgustingly effective, she quits Twitter entirely. Oh, sorry, who was the ones driving women out of gaming? I'm a little confused. And here's the most ironic part. Mr. Palmer here is not a Trump supporter. He is a Gary Johnson supporter as stated on his Facebook post. So expect a lot of changes from the sites, but thankfully we have archived every single one of your inaccurate yellow journalism hit pieces. And I'm not talking about just one or two or three or four. I'm talking 80 plus more at the time of the writing of this video from big journalistic outlets. And I bet you that more will come on this particular topic. Gizmodo is just one of the few who brings attention to this completely not newsworthy material. Do you want to know the impact of people knowing about his dangerous political opinions? People coming in and attacking him. Here's a guy not inviting him for his game. Here's a guy who blindly believes what Polygon says and calls him a racist. Here are a couple of indie game developers dropping their support of Oculus thanks to the developers having a different opinion on them. One literally says, until Palmer steps down from his position, we will be canceling Oculus support for our game. These people are pressuring him simply for his political opinion, things that are completely out of the realms of the contribution that he does within the gaming industry. And the thing is, it's not like the Bioware game death where he's openly hostile to any white people in the face of the planet. What has Mr. Palmer or his girlfriend done that is hostile enough it justifies removing support off of his Oculus Rift? Love or hate Oculus Rift, at least you judge it based on the product itself and not who the developer votes for president. Nobody cares 
cares for that? It's not a newsworthy material. Whether or not he supports Donald Trump or Gamergate is completely irrelevant. This entire incident of people quitting on Twitter and getting harassed and getting blacklisted by so many game developers simply for having different opinions has initiated one of the many operations that Gamergate takes. Welcome to Operation Double Vision. This is another one of Gamergate's operation right after the wonderfully successful Operation Disrespectful Nod. Gizmodo is our Gawker 2.0. Citations and evidences are as always in the description down below. These are gonna be necessary for you to accomplish our objective here. The objective of Operation Double Vision is very simple. You send your emails to Univision right here, quick link in the description, and report Gizmodo to them about this matter because this has broken their code of conduct. As always, please be gentle on your emails and report it objectively. Our objective is to persuade, not to shitpost. It will take only 5 minutes of your life. Go down below and write to Univision that Gizmodo broke their code of conduct and report this misdemeanor immediately before they ruin people's lives in the future again. Operation Double Vision, begin. That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe for more. If you wish, you can support me on Patreon and thanks for watching.